Now I am a sucker for a cheap PC, especially one that offers the possibility to maybe even play some games. And when this little Dell 3040 popped up on eBay the other day, I just couldn't resist. And what's more, it only cost me £65 and it even has a GPU. I definitely believe there's a sub £100 market out there for people either just looking to play some light esports titles or simply just to test the water and are not looking to invest a lot of hard earned cash and this Dell 3040 kind of fits the bill perfectly. So what did £65 buy me? Well we've got a small form factor Dell Optiplex 3040. It's a 2016 system in your standard office PC guys. It's actually in quite nice condition which is always a plus. Some of these old office PCs are just bashed to buggery from storage and usually that's just from being stacked on a pallet for months. It's got a good usable front I.O. with two USB 3.0 and two USB 2.0 ports plus a headphone jack. The rear isn't bad as well with a HDMI and display port, audio jack, ethernet connection plus the same front USB ports. Anyone guess the GPU yet? So inside there's an Intel 6th gen i5-6500 processor sporting 4 cores with a base clock of 3.2GHz and a turbo speed of 3.6GHz. Not amazing in 2023 but still acceptable for the lower end sector of the market. There's 8GB of DDR3L 1600MHz RAM in single channel with a maximum supported size of 16GB. Dual channel would be ideal really but for the cost of the system this is more than acceptable. It also means you can just slap another cheap 8GB stick in at any point to make 16. DDR3 is still fine in my opinion and it isn't yet renegated to the realms of DDR2 but we'll see if that changes in the coming years. PSU wise we have a 180 watt 80 plus platinum unit in there. It's a very basic PSU in terms of what you can do with it but generally these are well built and will last the lifetime of the system. It was advertised with a 128GB SSD, yes we even got an SSD for £65 but I actually received a Kingston 240GB one and I was worried about the 120GB drive as we only have one SATA power connection available from the PSU so adding a second drive wouldn't be a future option, we'd have to replace the whole SSD for a larger one. Now granted that isn't a biggie as you can pick up 500GB SSDs these days for about 25 UK ruples at the moment which is honestly ace. 240GB though is a great little upgrade from 120 and it will be more than enough for Windows, some apps and a few light games. Perfect. And what is even better about this little Dell is we got a graphics card. Yes a graphics card for £65. Ok so I'll spill the beans, it's only an AMD Radeon R5 340X, not really sure what the X stands for, extreme <laughs> maybe, who knows, but it's a basic little card that will support some light 720p esports gaming. It's got 2GB of DDR3 VRAM, a 64 bit memory bus and all the rest of the standard Radeon R5 features. The only issue in the GP upgradability department is that we are limited to single slot cards here as there's not even room for a larger low profile card. Options available are the RX 6400, GT 1030, WX 2100 and 3100 and the RX 550. These would be a straight swap if not a little pricey in some cases. Most low profile GTX 1050Ti's and 1650's are a twin slot card so this wouldn't be an option for a system like this. Now I am ashamed to admit that I used to own a Radeon R5 240 for about 6 months when I first got back into PC gaming and you know what I had a lot of fun with it at the time. After all, not all of us can just go out and spend £700 on a gaming PC to scratch an itch. And I'm a budget gamer through and through. If it's new and expensive, I'm just not interested. This system was pretty clean as well, with basically no dust. So it's nice to see a seller taking a little time and care to blow the system out. 
I have though changed the thermal paste, which is something I do on any system that I get in, as it's just good practice. But enough of me waffling on, I know you all want to see how it performs, so let's roll some benchmarks. Enjoy. So the results are in and quite honestly I'm really impressed with this little PC. Limitations in mind and yes you're not going to be playing the latest and greatest titles at 1080p high settings but I see a hell of a lot worse that people get suckered into buying for like £300 plus. We weren't even reduced to 720p in some of the games tested today. All with a 60 plus FPS average as well apart from Overwatch 2 that was struggling a little bit but we can't have it all now can we? The system is responsive in general daily tasks as well, and YouTube works fine with 4K video playback. Temps were good, and it's whisper quiet even at full load. The GPU was the limiting factor here though, even with a slight overclock, so the i5 had a lot more room to give. So what if we were to throw this little beast into the mix? Yes, I couldn't help myself, and I've brought a low profile RX 6400. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the next video, so make sure you're subscribed if you haven't done so already, so you don't miss me throwing some cheeky upgrades at this little Dell. And on that note, that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching, and I hope you had fun taking a look at this little £65 bargain and seeing what it can do. Please leave a like or a comment, I really appreciate it, and I always love hearing what you guys have to say. I hope everyone's got the new year off to a cracking start. Take care as always, God bless and hopefully catch you soon.